Yeah, definitely. I mean, live streaming has become, especially e-commerce live streaming, has become extremely popular in China, um, especially over 2019 and then with the, the coronavirus. So I think it's a smart move on their behalf. Even though offline activities are, are reopening in China, um, you know, we see a lot of offline activity. But I think, you know, for this uh, scale of, of an event, it's better to move it online, especially with the popularity of e-commerce live streaming. Yeah, you know, the thing about going to an event is it's uh, heavy touch. You know, you get to interact with people. Uh, live streaming is a different sales tool in many ways. You can showcase your products, but in a much different way. You have to kind of rethink things. So if you're a person who normally goes to shows, gets a chance to kind of go out for beverages or dinner with somebody and make a transaction, how do you approach it differently? Yeah, I mean, in, in that aspect, it's going to be, uh, it, it won't be quite the same experience. But really, you know, uh, China's e-commerce live streaming platforms are extremely interactive. You know, I don't think we have really anything to compare it to here in the West. You know, a lot of time when you bring up e-commerce live streaming to people here in, in the U.S. or other Western countries, they think of a uh, home shopping network or, or QVC. And to me, that's just, it's just not a good comparison. If you watch Chinese live streaming, e-commerce live streaming, you know, these platforms have included so many interactive features. You know, you're able to send comments and interact with the host. You're able to uh, directly from the live stream, you know, add the, say, WeChat or some other communication account with a, a sales associate and continue your conversation. Um, some of these platforms have incorporated AR, uh, AR features. So, for example, uh, you know, a host might be showing some cosmetics and you can press a button and you can try on those cosmetics uh, virtually while you're watching the live stream. So, you know, even though it won't be able to replicate the offline experience, they tend to do a very good job of thinking how they can add features into the product to, to do the best possible, to recreate the experience as best as possible. Yeah, Lauren, that's a really good point. I, I mean, has the coronavirus, in a sense, propelled us into the future in a way that we may not have uh, if we didn't have this issue to deal with? I mean, what you're talking about is it's trying to engage the audience in a way that perhaps wasn't done before the pandemic. Oh, definitely. I mean, e-commerce live streaming was taking off in China in 2019. Um, and actually, e-commerce live streaming contributed to 7% of the sales of last year's Taobao 1111 um, Shopping Festival, which, as you, know, you might know, is a, a massive shopping holiday in China. Um, so it was already a really popular medium then, but then when the coronavirus hit and all of the offline retail was shut down, you know, there was a massive boom in consumers turning to e-commerce live streaming. And I think Taobao reported that there was over a 100% increase in live stream sessions uh, just in the initial month of the coronavirus lockdown alone, and over 700% increase of brands and, uh, and companies using this live streaming feature during that first month period. So, uh, you know, very quickly, brands in China, a lot of very traditionally offline brands immediately, uh, you know, started experimenting there are numerous case studies of uh, department stores, um, you know, completely offline brick and mortar brands just moving their entire business online and having their sales associates live stream to try and give consumers that feeling of being able to go into a store and talk to a sales associate and get, you know, that one on one personal experience. So, I mean, it's been incredible to see how much this, uh, this particular medium has really taken off throughout the coronavirus period. Yeah, it really has been.